With students around the country returning to school, we're spending this week examining the state of education. Tonight, a lesson in literacy. According to one estimate, only about a third of elementary students are reading at grade level. In response, many schools are rethinking how they teach kids how to read. CBS's Brooke Silva Braga takes us into one of these changing classrooms for tonight's Eye in America. A safe A. A safe A. I pine I. I pine I. Oh, home oh. Oh, home oh. This is what a reading lesson now sounds like in a New York City first grade. Now I'm adding E to it. Melissa Vega Jones going letter by letter, teaching the mysterious code of the English language. It makes that letter O. That vowel say its own name. Do kids really it's, need to be explicitly taught all these rules? It makes the A say its own name. For decades, most schools said no. Give kids time with books they like, and they'll mostly figure it out themselves. Not now. Specific, detailed instruction is taking over. It was a big shift in my teaching and my understanding of how students learn to read. I did notice when I walk in, there's this decoding strategies poster up there. Was that poster yes. up here a year ago? No, this year now that's more based upon the science of reading. The science of reading isn't so much a curriculum as a grassroots movement, best known for arguing that phonics, the relationship between letters and their sounds, is key to learning to read. It's powered by parents who believe the old system left their kids behind, and it's quickly transforming how reading is taught. 39 states and the District of Columbia have passed new laws or made new rules requiring schools to follow the science of reading approach. That generally means new books and new teacher training with a focus on phonics. What we were doing was not working for a large number of our students, over half. Jason Borges is overseeing New York City's new reading program. After a partial rollout last year, it's in every classroom this fall. Wow. Okay, very good. And old approaches like letting kids look at the pictures to guess the word, so-called cueing, are being pushed to the past. So cueing is out. Okay, teachers cannot do it anymore. They should not be doing it. Instead, when Brielle Rosario flips through Cinderella, the king's son was to give a ball. She's taught to ignore the pictures and focus on the letter groups. Oh, no. The class has spent hours drilling on. We learned the welded sounds. What is a welded sound? Like ONG song. Research is showing this method does help, but somewhat modestly. A recent Stanford study found two years of the approach was like getting an extra quarter year of learning. Implementing the changes can be hard, and knowing just how far to push those changes is still being sorted out. There has been obviously this giant swing across the country. We've seen it in state after state after state. I wonder how you think about the possibility of the pendulum swinging too far. It is a concern, particularly for me, that it's not just about phonics, right? There's so much more to teaching reading that I worry that things will be not only too reductive, being just phonics, but then also that you know things do get taken a, a bit too far. The nation's largest school system is now attempting that balance. The test results will be eagerly awaited. So, Nate, good job. For I in America, Brooke Silva Braga in Brooklyn, New York.